Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today we're going to take a look at some of the great new features of After Effects CS5. In this episode, we're going to tackle one of my favorite, the brand new black and white adjustment. Now, you'll find this and you can use this as an adjustment layer, and I think that's the most useful way. So we'll choose Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And remember, an adjustment layer is an easy way to apply effect to multiple layers down below, plus it opens up things like blending modes, which could be really quite useful. Now, you'll find the black and white adjustment up here under Color Correction, and I know that's not necessarily logical. Why would they put black and white in Color Correction? Well, in this case, the black and white adjustment is being based upon the original color channels, and you're making a new grayscale image. This command originated over in Photoshop CS4, and it's now moved into After Effects CS5, so it's really quite cool. Let's go ahead and apply that. And it goes ahead, drops it on, and you see we're getting a pretty cool look here. Now, the important thing to realize is that you want to use the different color channels to influence the black and white adjustment. So if I want the reds to be a little bit brighter, I can drag that and notice how the red value is going to get much change there. Now you want to back that off a bit and typically what you're trying to do is get these numbers to sort of balance out. So as I raise the reds, I should go ahead and come back in and play with the yellows and pull those back down a little bit. And you see there how different areas are being affected. Let's go after the blue of the sky. Notice there it's nice and bright, creating a high contrast with the trees, or I could pull that down, making the blue stronger and letting some of those details of the clouds come back through. So that's looking great. Notice there we could toggle that off and on, and that's much more effective than just desaturating the footage. A true black and white image is not the absence of color, rather it's the color being translated into a grayscale image. So this command is much more useful. Plus, if you want, you can actually apply a tint here. So you can pick out any color you'd like to use and apply the tint by checking the tint box and you see that it goes ahead and puts that on the image. Now I recommend that you back that off to something a bit lighter so it's not quite so heavy ended. And one of the coolest things here is not just actually using the black and white adjustment layer to do black and white, but to really grunge up the image a bit. Here's how that works. If you select that adjustment layer, remember you can toggle your switches and try out different blending modes. So as we switch those, notice how we're getting this nice sort of rough aged look. And a cool shortcut to switch those blending modes is to use the keyboard shortcut Shift Plus or Shift Minus. So as I press that, notice how Shift Plus changes blending modes. And that's really cool there. In darken mode, the reds are coming through leaving sort of a black and white image. And as we step through here, we get a very different look with different modes for that black and white adjustment. I like that, sort of giving it a nice age or a gritty look. Plus remember, you can always press T for opacity and back that off a bit with the slider. So that's just one of the brand new things in After Effects CS5, it's really cool. And I encourage you to keep hanging around here on Creative Cow. We've got more tutorials coming out and a bunch of brand new training DVDs as part of the Creative Cow Master Series training. So be sure to stick around. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.